You need to get a website up fast and don't want to spend hours watching tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use child themes to set up a fully functional website and take it to production in a matter of minutes with WordPress. This is the condensed version of a talk I recently gave about how to launch a beautiful site fast and affordable. I cut out all the questions and discussion topics for those of you who just want the cliff notes. If you find the content helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell for more tricks to simplify web creation for selling online. So whether it's your first site or you're just looking for tricks for launching sites quickly, let's dive in. I don't know what's in there. I don't want you to get hurt. So step back. Hey, okay, for real, man, open the damn locker. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm super excited about today. Today we're all about LMS. LMS is Learning Management System in WordPress. And when would you use an LMS? If you are an instructor, an educator, a teacher, and you're wanting to share your knowledge, or if you have a membership and you want to um, have paid content behind that, we're going to show you how to build a super duper fast WordPress website with an LMS that's completely styled, designed, ready to go for you. First thing we're going to want to do is head over to appearance and themes because we need to make sure that we have the parent theme installed. And the parent theme that we're using today is the Divi theme by Elegant Themes. I have Divi here. I'm going to go ahead and click it and install it. If you don't have Divi yet, check the link in the description. You're going to get a free trial of Divi. Head on over to Elegant Themes, download it, try it out. Go ahead and click install now. We're going to let Divi install really quickly here on this WordPress theme, the Digital Buddha's demo website. You're going to then hit activate. And once that's activated, what we are going to do is we are going to dive off into installing our child theme. Sometimes you have to install the, um, you know, put in your license key and stuff. And in this instance, I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Divi courses zip, which is going to get us started in building this website. So we're sitting here at 210 and I'm starting the install and I want to see how long is it going to take me to go from jump to end, you know, to having this thing completely installed and stuff. So once that's installed, go ahead and hit activate. Once that's activated, you're going to notice here that it's activated. So we're going to come back over to the Divi courses and we're going to need to put in our key. I'm going to jump in here. I've got that. I'm going to activate my theme. Next thing I'm going to do is I need to install all the plugins that come with this child theme. So select begin install process, select the top box up here and select them all at the same time It's the fastest and easiest. Hit the drop down menu, select install and apply. You obviously can do it one at a time if you want to. It's a lot quicker if you do them all at the same time. So once that's done installing, we're going to need to activate these. So you want to return to the plugin installer dashboard. When that comes back up, select the checkbox again, hit the drop down menu and select activate. Once that's activated, you're going to hit apply and then you're done there. The next phase, which is going to be the import demo data. And once this is going to, you know, um, once you, you, you select import demo data, this is going to bring in all of the design and the style sheets and everything you need on the front end. It's going to prompt you to set up um, the Lifter LMS plugin. Go ahead and click get started now. And when it brings you to the next page here, just it's going to have the page set up. Go ahead and click skip this step because you don't need that. Uh, and you're going to actually hit a few skip these steps until we get to the end here. And we're going to import some um, some course content. So I'm going to hit no thanks, skip, skip, no thanks. You know, and then come here. When you get to this page, select the Lifter LMS Quick Start course, and we are going to import courses. So now that we're installed, Lifter LMS has been installed. It's going to take you to the front end of the website, but you're going to want to go back to the back end. So go back to your dashboard 
And now we are going to come over here and we're going to install, import the demo data. So when we click on that import demo data, you're going to see this screen, click the big blue button and allow this demo data to import. All right. So we're good. We're 100% complete on this side. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go over to the uh, settings and hit the reading because we're going to set our home pages and our internal pages. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the home page three. This one comes with three different design home pages. My personal experience and professional opinion, home page three will convert the best. So if you download this child theme and you use it, I'm going to say use home page three from a marketing standpoint and a site architecture. That one will probably convert the best for a courses website. Uh, the post page, we're going to select blog and we're going to go ahead and hit save. Next thing we're going to want to do is we need to go over and set our footer widgets. So collect appearance widgets. We're going to come over here to footer area two. And we're going to select navigation menu and we want to select the footer menu. We're going to hit save. So let's head to the settings of lifter LMS and inside these settings, we want to select the courses tab and we want to select the courses page. So scroll down here. You're going to select the courses catalog. Hit save changes. We're going to then set the memberships page much the same. Come down here, select the memberships page, and we've named them accordingly. Membership catalog, courses catalog, etc. And we're going to kind of go through this, the accounts, the checkout, and so on and so forth. So on the accounts page, we want to select our dashboard page, which is going to be dashboard ID. So checkout fields here. We're going to select the add email confirmation field. Make sure that's checked. We want to make sure that the enable disable is checked as well for the open registration fields. And then we're going to make sure that the add email confirmation field is checked. And then the account updates field, make sure that email is checked. We're going to hit save changes. We're going to come up here to the checkout page and we're going to hit the drop down menu and we're going to choose see which one purchase I want to come back over here to the front page of this website and hopefully fingers crossed oh my goodness that looks the same as a demo site so uh, this is home page three as I said you know I really like it because it's got a really good call to action a video up front where you can tell about what it is that you're offering and stuff uh, you scroll down and you'll see this thing is completely designed from start to finish uh, footers design, headers design. So this one comes with the quiz integration and stuff. If you do quizzes, it's great. We've already styled the quiz integration. We don't know that you're going to need quizzes, but our philosophy again is give you everything you're going to need and the kitchen sink. And, you know, if you need it, great. It's styled for you. If you don't need it, you're not installing it and you don't have to worry about it. The good news is, is that it is taken care of for you if it is. So here's what your dashboard is going to look like. This is what your students will see. They'll come into the back end of their dashboard and whatever they're enrolled in, whatever, you know, they can come directly to the courses that they're enrolled in. They've got their, um, how they're doing their progress and stuff, whatever memberships they're involved in, if any, the achievements that they may have received, which you may have like badges and stuff that each member gets, uh, their account notifications, order history, everything is in here, obviously what a dashboard would be. Um, and then obviously there's a checkout page. We've got three different contact page options. You're more than welcome to take a look at them on the demo site. And we'll have the demo site linked in the description as well. Your blog content is styled, you know, so that you can come in and just start producing content immediately, throw your, um, your, your featured image in there and you're ready to go. So uh, pretty much done. I mean, everything that you're going to want and of course, LMS website is done.